When the Israelites don't give you words, you not say. By word and deed. Words and deed. That's how you make them. You bust them in the middle of the street with this word. Open this book up and bust them in the middle of the street by words and deeds. Is that right? So for the goalies have been made partake. Wait a minute. What position? Partakers. Partakers, Mr. Goe, not take over. This is a new name you got now. Christian, Buddha, Islam, Muslim, Negro, and the new word. I am somebody. The precious sons of Israel. Their face. Their face. It was blacker than the cold. They blacker than the cold. Thank you for tuning in to the voices of the true Israelites. I am your host, Brother Kev, and to my right is Brother Taylor, and to my left is Brother Singleton. And I would like to introduce to you the international biblical Bible teacher, teacher of teachers, Brother Sir Edward. All right, thank you very much, there, Brother Kev. I want to say so long, so long, and to the panel, I want to say so long to you, uh, Brother Singleton. Shalom, yes, brother. I want to say shalom to you there. Shalom. Brother A. Taylor. Shalom, shalom. All right. And, and the host, Brother Calvin. Shalom, shalom, brother. All right. And like I said, like the brother did say, if you want to know about the classes, you give us a call. We have class every Friday at 6 p.m. And a return class Saturday at 1 p.m. We keep Sabbath. That's right. And the Sabbath day is when the sun go down on Friday to the sun go down on Saturday. And... We like for y'all to kind of entertain the class because we got a lot of uh, teaching to do with you. Now, in this lesson, we will be using the proper names. The proper name is YHWH pronounced Yahweh. We will not be using the pagan names called Lord, God, Jesus, Jehovah, and Christ. Them is pagan names, and all you got to do is put the name on your computer. Don't holler. Don't get excited. Just put the name on your computer and see who gave it to you. And you'll find out it ain't but one name going to get you salvation, and that is YHWH. Now, what I want to do is get back off in the teaching of Apostle Paul. Proper name is Saul, but we're going, for identification, we're going to use Paul, Saul, or whatever come on the panel. And we want to do, we want to open this lesson up with Brother Singleton, and we're going to take a look at some, some information about, in Genesis, chapter 10, of uh, Brother Singleton. We want to kind of look at at this uh, mission of Apostle Paul and things that a lot of people is overlooking. We're going to open this lesson up in Genesis chapter 10, and we're going to look at verse number 1. And the title of this lesson is The Greatest Mystery Ever Told. You know why it's a mystery? Because everybody got everything out of order. Because this Israelite is out of order. That means that makes the whole world out of order. Brother Singer, we'll open up in Genesis chapter 10, <coughs> verse number 1, and let's take a time and see what's going on here. Verse number 1. Now these are the generations of the son of Noah, Shem, Ham, Japheth, and unto them were sons born of the flood. A uh, after the flood. After the flood. So we know now we got sons born after the flood of Noah's sons, born after the flood. Uh, Brother Kevin, for identification, take a look at this book that is Kaya's Encyclopedia. That third book down, pull up and look up Ham. It's something about Ham I want to put on the table right away. It's already got a mark in there. Tell me about Ham. It says here, Brother. Ham. What what name of the book are you reading out of? This is Kaya's Encyclopedia, Anniversary Edition. Yeah, this is, is page 452. Good enough. Tell me about Ham. It says here, Ham, Hebrew, burnt, swarthy black, a son of Noah. So we find out right there, Noah, uh, uh, Ham means black. And who are he the son of? The son of Noah. So right there, he's the son of Noah. So now if Ham means black, and Noah is his daddy, so what color Noah is? Sounds like he's black. So it sounds like he is black because <laughs> only black produce black. That's White right. can't produce black. That's so right. right now, we know right now that Noah is the father of Ham. That's right. 
And Ham means black. And now I want to find out one thing, uh, Brother A. Taylor, real quick before we continue down this line. Back up to Genesis chapter 9. And I want to find out one thing. Is anybody cursed in this Bible at the beginning? Genesis chapter 9, verse 1, what does it say? And YHWH blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. So he turned right around and he blessed who? Noah. And who? His sons. So now the one that made the heaven and earth gets blessed Noah and his three sons. So now if Noah and his three sons and Ham means black, that means Noah had to be black. That, in this case, it let me know black must be a blessing. That's right. That's right. correct. And you don't mess around, and, and now you don't have this thing turned upside down. You call him black a curse. That's right. That's and right. we just <laughs> found out right now mm -hmm. that Ham means black, and his mm -hmm. daddy is Noah, mm -hmm. and he blessed the three boys, and the three boys got the black color on him. That means black is a blessing. It's a blessing. And it's not a curse. That's right. That's, That's right. See what we find out? A long way to find out something? That's right. That's but right. let's find out, Brother Kevin, what they have really did. And Brother A. Taylor turned to Numbers 23 be waiting on me. But Brother Kevin, let's run to Isaiah. I want to read one verse in 29. See, the whole world is out of order because this biblical bloodline Israelite is out of order. And here go a case in point. Isaiah 29, verse number 15 and 16. What does it say? Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from YHWH. Yes. And they say, Who seeth us? And who knoweth us? Yeah. 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be as, uh, an esteem as the pot is clay. Now look what you done did. Now you don't turn this thing upside down. That's right. Now you don't mess around and tell that the that people of color is a curse and he unblessed the three boys mm. and we're gonna find out who's telling the truth mm. with brother eight or uh, brother Singleton and numbers twenty three. We're gonna look right down at numbers twenty three and we'll look at verse number seven. What does it say? Numbers twenty three verse seven. Brother Singleton go. Number twenty, Numbers 23, verse 7. And he took up his parable and said, Balak, the king of Moab, have brought me from Aram out of the mountains of the east. Yes. Saying, Come curse me, Israel, and come defy Israel. Yes. Hey. Hey. How shall I curse whom YHWH have not cursed? Mm. Or how shall I defy whom YHWH have not defied. Now look what you put yourself up under. Now you are mess around and let your mindset mess you up. He letting you know you cannot curse what YHWH have blessed. Now he unblessed the three boys. Mm. Now you will turn right around and close the book and say, when you're black, you curse. Somebody lied. Now that means that you have mm. told a story and we're going to find out uh, exactly do the Creator make any mistakes, mm -hmm. and do he have to repent? Uh, Brother Singleton, read verse 19 and continue. Verse 19. YHWH is not a man that he should lie. So, he said he blessed him. So now you tell him, you you saying he lying. Mm -hmm. How is he lying? He said, I blessed the three boys, mm -hmm. and we found the right. three boys, and his daddy was all black. That's right. So, That's right. who is lying? You are the one that made the heaven and earth. Continue. Neither the Son of Man, that he should repent. Yes. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Uh-huh. Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he have blessed, and I cannot reverse it. So now we find out right now mm. that he have, now Balak is using... Showing you that when the creator is mm. make a statement, <laughs> you can't reverse it. And he reverse. blessed the three boys, and so happened the three boys is black. So black is not a curse. Black that's is right. a blessing. That's right. For the first 1,600 years, that's the only color, only color that was on the table until after the sons of Japheth. Mm. What we're getting ready to read right now. Right. Now we're going right back to Genesis chapter 10. 
So we have to take a look at that to let you know one thing. It's a whole lot of misteaching, misunderstanding. Why? Because the peoples of the book was the genetic bloodline of the Israelites. They ain't saying nothing. And that's why this whole world is out of order. Now we're going back to Genesis chapter 10, and we're going to pick it up at verse number, let's read verse 2 again. 10-2, Brother Singleton, what does it say? 10-2, the sons of Japheth. Now the sons of Japheth, in between there you've got 14 names. We want to know who is the sons of Japheth. Verse 5, what does it say? By these were the isles of the, of the Goim. Oh, so these are your Goims. <coughs> and the new word after 1630 became Gentiles. So who are the Gentiles? Verse 2 again. The sons of Japheth. The sons of Japheth. So now we know who are the new name that got called Indo-European Caucasian White. The name Caucasian only came into existence in 1920. You get you a... You go get you a Columbus Encyclopedia and look up the word Caucasian, they'll tell you. Well, we didn't put that name together until 1920. So they are the sons of Japheth. Who? All these 14 names in between that. That's who is the goings. So now what we want to do now, we want to read a little prophecy. Brother A. Taylor, we're going to read a little prophecy now. We're going to bring in the sons of Japheth and find out exactly what the Creator got on the table, and how He gonna bring the whole world in, but He bring the whole world in up under the banner of Israel. Now we're gonna turn to Isaiah 42, and we will see where we want to go from there in just a second. Isaiah chapter 42, we want to pick it up at verse number one. Isaiah 42, verse number one, prophecy by the mouth of Isaiah, the Israelite. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my elect, yes. and whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the, to the going. So, now I'll put my word on somebody out of the mouth of Isaiah, and his job is to do what again? Bring forth judgment to who? To the going. Hold that point. Brother Kevin, let's investigate that. Let's run to Romans chapter 15. We hold that point. Just put your marker there, uh, Brother A. Taylor. We want to check into that, what we're hearing right now in Romans chapter 15. And we want to examine a few things. See, you have to use the law and the testimony. There ain't no light on you. That means you got to use Torah. Let's pick it up at 15 verse 4 of Romans. See what's going on here. Romans 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So everything we read right now back in Isaiah is not done away with. It's for our what? It's for our learning. It's for our learning. So it's not done away with. Continue. That we, through patience and comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope. Yes. Five. Now, YHWH of patience and consolation grants you to be like-minded one toward another according to the anointed YHWH. Yes, continue. Six, that you may with one mind and one mouth glorify YHWH. But he talking to, but wait a minute now. He, well, well, let's find out who he talking to. Brother Singleton, hold that point. Who he want to be with one mind. Back up to the 11th chapter and let him identify himself in 11 verse 1. And we're going to find out something. Who are you talking with all that be one man? Who is you talking to? 11 verse 1, what does it say? Verse 1. I say, have YHWH cast away his people? That's a good question, have he? YHWH forbid. Who are you, Apostle Paul? Who are you? For I also am an Israelite. Uh-huh. The seed of Abraham. The tribe of Benjamin. So that's who he is. He's from the seed of Abraham. He's from the tribe of Benjamin. And look what it says in verse 2. Why is WH have not cast away his people, which he foreknew? Stop right there. So the Israelites, he's telling the Romans, but here's going, here come another name for the Romans, who he's saying that these Israelites is not cast away. 
Verse 13, make it plain. Verse 13, For I speak to you, Goim, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Goim. I magnify mine office. Oh, so that's what's going on in 15. So, since he's magnifying his office, he's getting them together to understand the program of YHWH. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's why, right. that's why he's talking to the that's Romans right. in the 15th chapter. He letting them know, I am y'all apostle. I am y'all teacher. My job is to get y'all in line. But I'm right. also an Israelite. Right. That's huh? right. So that's, that's what's right. going on, Brother Kevin, in the 15th chapter, verse number 7. So I'm telling you, go in. Uh, no name for you, Goings, is Romans, the sauce of Japheth. I want you to be what in verse 7? 15, 7? 15, 7. Wherefore, receive you one another, as the anointed also received us the glory of YHWH. Okay, so we want, back up to 6, because I missed one. 6, that you may, with one mind, one and, mind. One, and one mouth, yeah. glorify YHWH. Even the father of our YHWH, the anointed. So I don't have no special different teaching. I want y'all to come up under one. Mm. One man. I yeah. teach y'all what y'all need to know. And you got to come up on this one man. I am the teacher of the goings. And I want y'all to be up on a how many mans? One, one man. One, one man. man. So what I'm getting ready to put on the table, this is your instructions. Because I want to let y'all know clearly about the one that made the heaven and earth. What about him in verse 8? Verse 8. Now I say that the anointed YSWH was a minister of the, of the Israelites for the truth of YSWH. Oh, so I want you Romans to know one thing. That the, the one we know as YSWH, the son, when he came, he was a minister to who? The Israelites. The Israelites. the Israelites. For what reason? For the truth of to, YHWH. And to do what? To confirm the promise made unto the Father. Now he don't chuck this thing all the way back to Abraham. Mm. He okay. said when he, so when, I want y'all to know one thing. Right. When he got here, mm -hmm. he was only here to confirm the promise made to the fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. That's but right. I'm here to teach you goings. Right. Huh? So I want y'all to get this thing in order about this order. I am y'all teacher. But when YHWH the son came here, he was to teach the Israelites. That's right. That's right. Hold that point. All right. Where we at right now? Let's prove that. Brother A. Taylor, let's back up to Matthew chapter 10. Let's prove that. We might well prove everything. The, the title is lesson, the greatest mystery ever told, because everything out of order. Because this Israel ain't out of order, so that tips the whole world out of order. That's why they got everything out of order. Nobody know the program. You go and holler about this, the Paul about new teaching, New Testament Christians. The brother is letting you know, if you're going to get this word, y'all must come through me. And we're going to prove that soundly in the 10th chapter, verse number 1, with the creator of heaven or talking to his 12 disciples. Brother A. Taylor, what did he say in 10.1? And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, yes. he gave them power against unclean spirits uh -huh. to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. So the twelve had power. But let's yes. see where he want to send all this power to in verse 5. These twelve... YHW sent forth and commanded them, saying, What he said to them? Go not into the way of the going. Yes. Mm. And into any city of Samaritan. Do what? Enter ye not. But do what? But Six. go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Oh, he made that plain, didn't he? Mm. Yes. So this was, so he led to the twelve disciples. Telling them to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And when you go there, let's see what he want them to teach on. Seven. And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Oh, so you don't teach 
that going past the stars, moon, the sky, huh? No. no you don't no, teach no, that no. kind of doctrine. No, the don't. Israelites no. don't teach going past the stars, moon, and sky, or you're right. going to be raptured out here. You teach about the kingdom mm -hmm. that's going to be in Israel. That's right. That's, right. that's what you teach us. That's right. The Israelites. Right. Brother A. Taylor, mm -hmm. let's go to the 15th chapter and make it, make it real plain. We're going to read one verse in the 15th chapter of Matthew. We're going to make it real plain to, to let you know what Apostle Paul was really saying. This is what he said, the one that made the heaven and earth, says in 1524 what did he say but he answered and said i am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of israel now what did you all gonna believe that that what he said That's i'm only said. sent to the lost sheep house of israel That's so right. my father sent me but he sent me to who the lost sheep of the house of israel now what y'all gonna do with that so now we go back to, to romans chapter 15 now we got a clear idea of what's going on here Paul is teaching Europeans, and he letting them know one thing, that I am y'all teacher. And we're going to read a little bit more of that after Brother Kevin pick it right back up at verse number 9. Verse number 9. 15.9 of Romans. 15.9 of Romans. And that the Goems might glorify YHWH for his mercy. As it is written. Oh, so it's written. You know what was written at? Back who we was messing around with back then at 42 chapter and back in Psalms. What is written? For this cause I will confess to thee among the Goems. Yes. And sing unto thy name. And sing unto that what? Thy name. Oh, so now we got a name on the table. Mm. So we got a name on the table, but my job is to get you Goems under to understand one thing that it, it is. A name. We'll take care of that later. But the only name going to get you salvation is YHWH, proper name, Yahweh. That's right. What it said right. in verse 10. Verse 10. And again he said, Rejoice, you goings, with his people. Oh, he tell him to rejoice with you going with his people. With his people. So right. I want you, you goings, when you see this Israelite, you're supposed to do what? Rejoice. rejoice. You're supposed to rejoice. Get up. Rejoice. Now, then you line it up with this book, right. but this Israelite got to get in his place for the, everything to lie back in place. So right. this is the way it's ordained from the one that made the heaven and earth. The whole right. world right. supposed to rejoice upon the banner of Israel, the one he chose for his word. But they ain't rejoicing now. Uh, they they try right. to lock you up. That's right. And do everything contrary to you. That's but we're right. going to find out that he ain't got nothing to do with this in a few minutes. Read verse, um, matter of fact, hold that point. Okay. Brother Singleton, let's prove what we just said on that. That's that cadet rule of me and the Holy Spirit. Let's run to, um, let's see, let's run to Philippians. Let's run to, let's see, I want to put, this is going to be a rabbit. This is my first rabbit out that. I think I want to prove what I just said. I know that's some tall talking you just made. I said, okay, let's see, can I come back and prove some of that? Oh, talking. Let's run over to the Thessalonians book and let's see if I get away with some of this tall talking. Let's pick it up at 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. Let's see if we prove what we said just a minute ago. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. Apostle Paul talking to the Indo European Caucasian white. 2 1, what does it say? Verse 1. For yourselves, brethren, Know our entrance in unto you, that it was not in vain. So, he said, for yourself, brother, you Thessalonians, knowing our entrance into you is, is not in vain. Come on. Mm. But even after we had suffered before yeah. and were shamefully entreated, as ye know, at Philippi, we were bold in our YHWH to speak unto you, the gospel of YHWH with much contention. What do you mean with much contention? We came to bring that word to you. You tried, you had all your homeboys. Oh, yeah. Y'all tried <laughs> to stone us, trip us, yeah. stick a couple knives to us. Oh, yeah. But upon all that pressure, we still talk. What kind of way? Boldly, that's how we talk. With all that pressure upon us, we still brought it to you. What kind of way again? 
Bold. Bold. Bold in our YHW to speak unto you. So, and what we're we speaking to you? The gospel of YHW with all kind of pressure was upon us. Mm. Right. Yes. But we deliver that word to you. Because right. it's right. our job is to meet you where you at. But you know, we know y'all are going to be getting excited about it. Verse right. 4, what happened next? Verse 4. But we were allowed of YHWH to be put in trust with the gospel. Wait a minute now. You, you mean we was allowed by YHW to be in trust with the what? With the gospel. With the good news. Mm, so yes. this thing was given to Israel. That's right. That's right. And mm. it is our job to teach you what you need to know because if we would have taught you, you would be talking about going past the stars, moon, and sky. That's right. That's right. You would know everything going to be right here. You wasn't born to leave here. You That's was right. born from the dirt. You're going back to the dirt. He'll raise you back up. That's right. That's so, right. but since we can't get to teach you nothing, you will come up with your own way. Continue. So, even so, we speak not as pleasing men, but YHWH, which tried our hearts. Oh, so, and YHWH is going to try your mind, too. To oh, see yeah. where you stand <laughs> up under this pressure. Mm. So, you getting tested now, That's you right. Israelite. The one that know you Israelite and ain't going to bag down from the truth. That's right. Verse That's 13, right. continue. Verse 13, for this cause also we think we, YHWH without ceasing, because when ye received the word of YHWH, which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men. But you didn't know, you didn't receive it as the word of men, because the word of man would have got you messed up today. Right. They got That's you right. all, you received it knowing that we are the one to bring y'all out of total darkness, which you're going to get ready to read. And you believe that, come on. But as it is in truth, yes, the word of YHWH, which effectively work work up also in you that believe. Oh, so his word don't work in no it don't work in you unless you do what? Believe. Believe. Oh, believe. That's the same thing about this is right. Well, I'm an is right. Well, that don't mean nothing, brother, if you won't believe nothing. That's right. Believe. Well, wait a minute now, brother A Taylor, hold that point right there. Let's run back over to St. John chapter one. So, uh, well, I'm an Israelite. So what? Mm. You, <laughs> you an Israelite, but you better believe this thing. Yeah, believe what is it. written in the page of this book? Right, right. And we better read that. Look what the, look what the brother says here, St. John chapter 1, and we're going to pick it right back up at verse number 11. What did he say in 11? 1 11. St. John. Brother A. Taylor, what did he say? He came unto his own. And his own received him not. Okay, we're going to find out this since he came to his own. Did he go somewhere else? <laughs> what happened next then? But as many as received him. Oh, but many as them Israelites received him. Because there's going to be a lot of Israelites going to say, Well, look, yeah, I don't like what you just said there. That's right, right. But that's the right. one that's going to receive this, come on. To them gave he power to become the sons of YHWH. Even to them that believed. On his name. And look, on his what? Name. Even on on his, his name. name. On his so name. now you is. So because you Israelite, that don't mean nothing. You got to bring the program of the name. Mm -hmm. The name. So now if you ain't believing on his name, and you don't come up with this pagan name that just came up in the middle of the 1700 century. Mm. Right. We got an answer for you. Brother A. Taylor, let's back up to, um, let's run to Romans. Let me see what he got written about that. Because a lot of brothers be saying, well, you know, I'm Israel, I know I'm Israelite. Yeah, you was Israelite when you kicked out of the land. And you kicked out of the land for disobedience for the name and the Sabbath day. That's why you kicked out of the land. Let's see what it says in Romans chapter 9, pick it up at verse number 7. Make it plain, Brother A. Taylor. Romans 9, 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac... Shall thy see be called? So let me call you because you because you an Israelite, but but the one that's going to be called is the one out of Isaac. But here's the point: neither did the seed of Abraham, because you can't hide up on the Abraham Abraham cloak. You got to keep this word. Now, let's see what he says. So we know one thing here: because you an Israelite. If you don't keep the program, right. you ain't got nothing coming. That's and, right. and brother, uh, sing until let's read a little bit. At let's run to Isaiah. 
See, this Israelite don't know what kind of damage he going put himself in by making that agreement in 19 chapter saying in verse 8, all that you say, we going to do. <laughs> you don't know that's a bad thing you made because you got to bring this thing and bring it under all kind of pressure. Now, I say go to Isaiah, right? Where I say run to? 198. 198 of what? Isaiah. Well, what I want in Isaiah, I got, just got caught up myself in there. Let me see what I want in, <laughs> in the 19 chapter. 19? Boy, that don't got past me right there. I forgot why I said I want to run over there. Let's see what was the reason I want to run over there. Well, I'll hold that up because evidently it slipped right past me why I want to go there right then. So, but it'll come back to me. Now, uh, Brother Cavan. Mm -hmm. Now, Brother uh, Singleton, let's run back to uh, First Thessalonians again, and let's take another little glass down at those, he said, the ones that believe. Right? And we find out the one that believe is the one. Oh, yeah, I know. That was Isaiah 56, I said. Mm -hmm. Now, that's I said about no 19. <laughs> let's run to Isaiah 56, uh, Brother Singleton. That's what I said. Isaiah 56. So let's find, let, let's kind of make sure that we on the table. Isaiah 56. That's what I want. Those who believe. Let's find out a little bit more about this. Uh, Isaiah 56. Let's pick it right up at verse number 6. 56, 6. Verse 6. Also the sons of the stranger that joined themselves unto YHWH to serve him yes. and to love the name of YHWH to be his servants, uh -huh. everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant. So mm. when we find out right now the ones that love the name and take hold to this covenant. But what it says in verse 5. Verse 5. Even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a place and a name better than, uh, of sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name mm. that shall not be cut off. And, let, and let, me, let me explain what we just got to read. He let you know because you Israel don't mean nothing. Mm. He's I'm no right. respected person. If the goings of the Hamites call on my name and do the right thing, they're going to walk right past the sons and the daughters. Mm. Let you know I'm no respected person. Read that, Brother Calvin, in Romans 2.11. The point I'm saying, I'm no respected person. I, I chose the Israelite to bring my word, but if these goings of the Hamites stepped up and do, do the job that you're not doing, they're going to walk right past you, and, and he's going to throw you in the toilet, and they're going to be in the kingdom. Right. Let's see what it says in Romans 2.11. Romans 2.11. For well, there is no respect of persons with YHWH. No respect of persons. So he chose this Israelite to deliver his word. Now this Israelite don't deliver his word because you Israel. He's going to bun you in the fire. Mm. Because you don't want to make the agreement. Now if the goings of the Hamites take on to this covenant and his word, I'm going to give them a name better than your name. Mm. And they will be in the kingdom and you will be in the lake of fire. Back to Brother Singleton and let's look at verse number Six again. Fifty-six, six of Isaiah. Isaiah fifty-six, six. Also, the sons of the stranger that join themselves to YHWH to serve him. Now, the strangers, everybody other than Israel. Mm. So the strangers don't know how to come in. So what he gonna do? He gonna lie his way in and bogart his way in. Mm. But he had a place for you. You just need your Jeremiah three fifteen to show you. That you got a place on the bus, you just can't be the driver. But you get in the same place the Israelites get to. We just mm. got to drive you down. That's right. Continue. That's right. And to love the name of YHWH. But you got to love the name of YHWH. Mm. But you can't have them other names. You got to get rid of them other names. Every other name is pagan. <laughs> it ain't for <laughs> one name going to get you salvation. YHWH. Proper way to pronounce it. Yahweh. That's right. the only right. name that's right. going to get you salvation. Right. Continue. To be his servants, yes. everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant. Now look what we got in there. We got the name and the Sabbath. That's right. Now name that's the, Sabbath. the whole that's key to this creation. That's right. The that's name right. and the Sabbath. Because mm -hmm. you keep the name, you keep the program. And the message is going to be done on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. The Sabbath day when the sun goes out on Friday to the sun goes out on Saturday. Now is you doing it. 
Because if you're not doing it, <laughs> you're in trouble. He don't told you this is the blessing. Keep the name, keep the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Now, if you ain't keeping the name of the Sabbath and you're getting blessed, then who are blessing you? Right. It's right. not him. Not him. Now, if you do that, look what he got written in verse 7. Verse 7. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain. And his holy mountain, let's read where his holy mountain at, Brother Cavern. Turn our way over to Revelation chapter 2. Hold that point, Brother Sigmund. We're coming right back there. Let's read some of way where his holy mountain that he's going to bring you to. Okay. Let's read uh, 312. 312. Revelation 312. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my YHWH. Yes. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my YHWH. Yes. In the name of the city of my YHWH. Go ahead and read. Which is New Israel. And what are they going to be doing? Which cometh down out of the heaven from my, my YHWH. And I will write upon him my new name. And my new name is the same old name. My name is Israel, but I came my father's name YHWH. So they go to the program. That's why he told the disciples to teach, preach. The kingdom is at hand. What kingdom? New Israel. New Israel. Really That's going to do what? Come down. down. You're not going <laughs> past the stars, moon, and sky. Right. Here, right. This man is right from the strength of YHW is the future. He's saying the new kingdom doing what? Coming it's down. Coming down. Coming down. And right. your miserable preacher talking about going past the stars, moon, and sky. Mm -hmm. You going up, it coming down, you going to miss it. Oh. Right. You see what's going on here? That's right. That's right. See, the whole world out of order. Why? Because oh, this yes. genetic bloodline Israelite is out of order. He ain't teaching nothing. Let's read that, Brother A. Taylor. Let's run to the 30th chapter. Let's run to the 30th chapter of Isaiah just for a quick minute before we come back and hit that uh, 56, 7. Let's run to Isaiah chapter 30 just for a minute. See, this is the greatest mystery ever told, and sometimes you got to line this stamp just right to understand that everybody out of order. Look what he got written about this, these Israelites' teachers. Mm. Pick up at verse number 20. 30 verse 20. And through the wise they give you the bread of adversity. Yes, and you, you, you put it on yourself, come on. And the water of affliction. You've done all this stuff on yourself, the Israelites. Yet shall not thou teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see. Thou teacher. And you seeing your teachers right now. They in the corner or they come out. Mm -hmm. That's why you're hearing now voices of the, the true, true Israelites. Israelites. That's right. Meaning the teachers is coming out. <laughs> They're not in the corner no more. They're everywhere <laughs> now. They're coming at you. It's already prophesied that the Israelite teachers is on their way. They're coming out the corner right now. they on the radio, television. That's and right. they let right. you know, Israelite, return back to Something very important. Let's read it, uh, Brother H. Uh, Singleton. Let's run and go back to Revelation 2, verse 5, read what this Israel I got to do. And uh, go ahead and read, uh, Brother uh, A. Taylor, at 31 anyway. 21. 21. And thou ill shall hear a word behind thee. Yes. Saying, this is the way. Yes. Walk ye in it when ye turn to the right hand. And when ye turn to the left. And that's what you're hearing. Bosses of the two Israelites. He's telling y'all, straighten this thing up. Right. You can't straddle the fence. Mm. You got to right. keep the Sabbath day and you got to keep the name. That's and right. return. Right. Where in 2 verse 5 in Revelation? Revelation 2, two verse 5. Remember, therefore, mm -hmm. from whence thou art fallen. That, that's what we're trying to let you know. This Israelite, you don't fail, Israelite, but you think you are right. Now, you got to remember. Where thou have fallen, because you knew the name, right. the right. program was up under you, right. you don't right. even have a clue. But we is come out these corners to let you know where you have fallen from. Come on. Right. And repent. And, and do what? And repent. You got to repent, Israel, Israelite. Mm. That's right. Go ahead. And do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick. And that's the light. And that's the light. That's right. and, and, and you know who the light is? He is the light. That's right. He ain't got but one name. 
right. and you and he don't remove himself from you because you don't remove yourself from him by coming up with all these pagan names mm. that came in the middle of the 1700th century that ain't even right. 300 years old. Mm -hmm. And every time we tell you his proper name is YHWH and I don't let him get you salvation, you kick against it. Right. Right. So turn to 3 8 while you're there, uh, Brother Singleton. Let's get 3 8 out the way. Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. Verse 8. I know thy works. See, we know your works. Mm -hmm. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. An mm. open door, Israel. And no man can shut it. And no man can shut this door. Come on. For thou hast a little strength. You got a little strength because you're coming now. Mm -hmm. I'm building you up right now. You got a little strength, Israelite. A little strength. Mm -hmm. A little strength. <laughs> and has kept my word. And you have kept the word. And has not denied my name. And we don't deny your name for all kind of pressure. Right. We ain't going to deny your name. Right. We know your name and got a four letters to it. That's right. Y-H-W-H. Right. Right. And we gon' not going to deny your name. That's right. That's right. So he know the ones that going to put the truth on the table. Hmm. Why he know that? Brother A. Taylor read that Isaiah uh, 46, 9 through 11. Let's read. Let's read that. How do he know this? Isaiah 46, verse 9. Brother A. Taylor, go. Remember the former things of old. Go ahead and read. For I am wise W.H., and there is none else. And what do you do? I am wise W.H., and there is none like me. Go ahead. Declaring the end from the beginning. Yes. And from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying... My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So mm. he let you know right now. I know the ones that going to do this thing, right? That's, That's right. right. I, you, I right. called it in from the beginning. I know mm. what every Israelite at right now. Mm. And when he bring this Israelite back, That's right. let me pull a rabbit out of here. Let me kind of run over to Ezekiel, uh, Brother Kevin. I want to kind of let y'all know sounding when this Israelite is coming back. We want to kind of date according to this book about this Israelite. Mm -hmm. Let's turn it and read out of the book of Ezekiel 39, and let's look at verse 25. I want y'all can TV, and I hope y'all can keep up with the voices of the true Israelites. Uh, Ezekiel 39, 25, read it. Ezekiel 39, 25. Therefore, thus saith YSWH, now will I bring again the captivity of Israel. Oh, so remember, if you put thus says YHWH in there, letting you know I'm the one mm. going to bring the captivity of Israel. Go ahead. And have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. Wait a minute. He said whole bloodline of Israel. That means if you part a whole, that means a whole is what he's talking about. And what? And will be jealous for my holy name. See that? Again, my name. Right. And I'm going to be jealous for the one that got the name. That's right. See, the one that got the name, you keep on kidding against his name. This right. old name will get you salvation. I'm going to be jealous about my holy name. So my name don't have, well, it can be called this or that. That don't make it holy. That's holy right. is one piece. Right. Huh? That's right. So we're talking one name. 26. Verse 26. After that, they have borne their shame. Oh, we bear the shame right now. Yes. And all their trespass against me. Yes. When they dwelt safely in their land. What did they do? And none made them afraid. See, when you was in your land, Israel, when you had the name, you kept the Sabbath day, nobody made you afraid. So you had, and you got that potential to come again. But I got a little thing in verse 27. Verse 27. When I have brought them again from out, from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' lands. Now, and you believe what he just said? Mm. I don't care mm. where you living at. He wow. said you in, the, you in your enemies' land. That's right. Well, brother, I stay on the 15th floor mm. on uh, uh, Pier Hill. I don't care where you stand at. He said, after I brought you from uh, who land? Their enemies', enemies land. Go ahead and read. And I and am sanctified in them in the sight. Of many nations. See, you got to show me some Israel, because I want to be sanctified when I set you apart, mm. like in the days of old, to take care of my business. Matter of fact, let's read that, brother A. Taylor. 
Hold that pump and read verse 28. Let me show you what he got written. Run the numbers. Say number the cadet Ruach said, okay, well, why don't you turn back and let Moses tell a little of this? Okay, let's see what he got written in um, Numbers 23. Let's see what was the program for this Israelite. Let me see. Numbers. Let me see if I find it. Numbers 23. Let's look at verse number 9. 23, 9. Numbers. For from the top of the rocks I see him. And from the hills I behold him. Yeah. Lo, the people shall dwell alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Did you hear that? Mm. This is like folks dwell alone. Right. Because this is the, these is the people's folks dwell alone because you got a great job on your hand. Yes, to treat right. the rest of the sons of Adam. <laughs> but I don't want this Israelite, he's supposed to dwell alone among the nations. Mm. Right. See, you don't, you don't partake with the group. And the group right. ain't got this story in line. Right. Israel and everybody that's Israel is not Israel. Because if you ain't got the name in the Sabbath day right, you don't fit in that. But Israel is supposed to drill alone. Right. And shall not be reckoned among the what? Nations. The nations. Now what are you going to do with that? Right. And that's what he said. That's what he said. So you got to remember that. Israel got a job to do. And that's to deliver his word. And up under all kind of pressure, right. he got to deliver this word. Mm. And we're going right. to do it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ezekiel 39, let's look right at verse number 28. And look what he's saying. Ezekiel 20, uh, 39, 39 28. 28. Then shall they know that I and YSWH, their YSWH, yes. which caused them to be led into captivity. Oh, and, oh, you mean Mr. Charlie thought he'd done it on his own? No, he yeah. didn't do it. <laughs> he didn't do YHWH <laughs> put you in captivity. Yeah, right. You dropped the two things on the table, the Sabbath day and the name. Mm. That's why you're in captivity today. YHWH mm. put you in captivity. Go ahead. Among the who? Among the heathen. That means nations that surround you. That means I ain't put a name on it. Israel is upon the every nation upon the sun. Brother A. Taylor, let's read that real quick before we read mm -hmm. a little bit more. Turn to Zechariah 2 6. Mm. Run over to Zechariah, our next and last book in the Bible, and read me 2 6. I want to know what is Israelite at. Mm. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 6. See, mm. a lot of caps can't do it this way because you got to have a cadet ruach. Yeah, right. That's right. You got to have a cadet ruach to lead you through this book. You. Holy you know, Spirit. Yeah. So <laughs> this what you got to have to lead you through this book That's to right. tell a story right. That's why this is the greatest mystery ever told because nobody put this book right because everybody picked this book up don't know protocol. Protocol is Israel to be the light to the world to teach all the sons of Adam what they need. Case in point, A. Taylor, Zechariah 2.6. Read it. Ho, ho, come forth. And flee from the land of the north, yes. said the wise W.H., for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heavens, so said Israel, the wise W.H. Says wise W.H., so Israel and every nation upon the sun and wherever he had on the bottom. He ain't running nothing. He ain't running nothing. Because the only thing Israel going to run is this book. That's right. That's right. So if you try to run anything else, it's going to come to nothing. Because mm -hmm. what I gave you is this book, this That's word. Right. This is the only thing you going to run, Israel. And look what it said in verse 29 again, Brother Kevin. Now, 39, 29, what did it say? 39, 29. No, no, pick it back at 28. But I will gather what? In the middle of 28. But I, would, but I have gathered them into their own land. Well, wait a minute. This ain't happened yet. Nope, no. So he ain't told it. This the guy called in from the beginning. So that you know it's going to happen. It's going to land. Right. Now, that letting you know this thing right. going to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm letting you know I have gathered Israel from where? Their own land. Now watch this now. And have left none of them any more there. Hmm. What you mean? Well, what are we doing here for then? If we, we back. <laughs> so what are we doing here for then? Hmm. That let you know this is prophecy to happen. Right here. Because I have left none of them. And, and then, well, well, what this brother Woods doing over there looking at that television camera for then? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here for then? So we right. know this ain't happening yet. That's right. That's right. So we know this got to happen. So that. somebody got to kick this thing off. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. And he always start with a few and work his way up. All you got to do is read the book of Judges and see by Gilead how they started with 
less than 300 and whoop every media night they can see. And he still counted 300. That's right. That's right. After 100,000 was killed. Mm, That's how he operates. Right. When this hand is in it, we're going to read that in a minute. Verse 29. Verse 29. Neither will I hide my face anymore from them. Oh, you trying to tell me he hiding his yeah, he hiding his face from you. you because you it. won't get the name right or the or the day right. That's right. That's right. Them two things got a frog in your throat. Yeah. And you think you getting blessed on the first day of the week, but it's <laughs> not from him. Not from him. You getting your blessing. But in next lesson, we might tell you exactly where your blessing's coming from. Right. Continue. And what are you gonna do? For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel. Who said that? Said YHWH. Okay. So let's find what kind of spirit he pulled up on these Israelites. Let's, uh, brother Singers, let's bring back up the Proverbs. Let's see what kind of, what did you pull on these Israelites? Let's see if we pick it up at 122 of Proverbs and 23. Let's find out what kind of spirit did you pull on these Israelites? Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 1, 22 and 23. Read it. How long, ye simple ones? Will ye love simplicity? Yeah. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Uh-huh. And fools hate knowledge. Yeah, they hate knowledge. Mm -hmm. 23. Yes. Turn you at my reproof. Yes. Yeah. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Watch this now. I will make known my words unto you. Oh, so that's oh. the spirit I'm pouring on you. My words. My words. It's all about my words, and my words is only well, lest our uh, brother... Kevin, let's run to Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 9. Let's see where my word is at. So if you got any in the middle of preaching, go, go read or go speak into your life, and he ain't got no book open, then read then and there, you know he ain't got the spirit of this book, which is his word. Because if you're speaking a man's life, you read, thus says Y H W H Yahwa. That's right. Case that's in right. point, 12 9. What does it say? 12 9. And moreover, because the preacher was wise. He still taught the people knowledge. Okay, go ahead. Yea, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. Ten, the preacher sought to find out acceptable words, and that which was written was upright, even words of truth. So that's how you operate this manuscript. Right. You go and look to see what's written, and you sort it out. You take your time and sort out what's written. Because what's written is the truth. That's right. Now, we find out right now what's written is the truth. Thank you very much, that brother Woods. So we know we got five minutes ago in this uh, greatest mystery ever told. You just got so much teaching to do in this thing. <laughs> and all these miserable preachers and miserable camps won't teach you nothing. Mm. But the voices of the true Israelites going to teach you what you need to know. And if, and if you want to come to class, like I say, you give us a call. That's right. And we have classes every Friday at 6 p.m. and return class Saturday at 1 p.m. Now, what we want to do with these last five minutes, we're going to run on back to Isaiah 42. And we're going to look at this protocol again, uh, Brother Singleton. Isaiah 42. Well, we had a mark in. About, and we're going to read a little bit more of this protocol. We went all the way to find out about... This go in. And how this thing going to come. Now, 42 verse 2. Let's see what happens. Isaiah 42 2. Continue. Isaiah 42 2. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. Yes. 3. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. Yes. He shall bring forth... Judgment unto truth. So we know when, so when YHW is to come, the son come, he's not going to be hollering through no bullhorn on you. Mm -hmm. So he's going to come and take his time and get this thing in order. The first time. But the second time he comes, that's a whole different ball game. Mm -hmm. Four. Four. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have judgment in the earth and the isles shall wait for his law. All right, okay. So we find out that the Torah will be on the table. So right. when he come back, right. what he will be pointing at the, is the Torah. So. Now we're going to skip down to verse uh, 6, and we're going to look at something very careful in verse 6. Listen to this very careful. Verse 6, what does it say? 6. 
I, Y-H-W-H, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the going. So the going is that day in darkness, and now it's already prophesied that I'm going to send my son to be the light to the going, and what they're going to do, he's going to pick him somebody to do it, and we're going to run this story all the way up mm. and put it in your mind. But what we're going to do now, we got to stop it right here. And we're going to turn it back over to the host, Brother Kevin, because this is part, whatever number part this is of the greatest mystery ever told. We'll pick this back up on the next part. I think this is part number seven. Mm -hmm. So we're going to turn it over to the host, Brother Kevin, and we'll pick it up again next time. Over to Brother Kevin for the close. Thank you, Brother. And you have just witnessed the voices of the true Israelites. And thank you for tuning in. Until next time, shalom. 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 Don't